Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about health and safety. Why health and safety is important in every organization and what is the importance of MAT to manage occupational hazards and uh, health at workplace and what are the benefits for the organization in managing this health and safety. So coming to the topic, there are three main reasons to manage health and safety. The first one is the legal requirement. There are several rules and regulations set up by the government for the organization to comply in the uh, to comply with it in term in case if they uh, violate the rules or if they don't comply um, with the rules and regulations set up by the government there are various forms of fines and co compensations and penalties or punishments uh, that has to be faced by the organization in case if they don't comply with the rules and regulations and that is the legal require, uh, requirement in uh, to manage health and safety at workplace and uh, there is an international labor organization it shows the statistical data that about 2 million people die workers die every year due to this occupational assaults and most of them when investigated it could have been prevented by the organization if there were adequate control measures put up by the organization to prevent it so it it, it is the uh, the second reason is the moral reason it is the requirement by the requirement by the every employer to provide a safe work for the organization so these are the moral reasons and coming to the financial reasons as we know all accidents cost money so every every accident that happen in the workplace is the responsibility of the organization so if for example if a person gets injured at the workplace he has to be provided with a first aid and then he has to be taken to the emergency depending upon the level of accident that is major or minor if it is a major accident so then it, it uh, he has to be given sick leave and um, sick pay and uh, uh, until his rehabilitation period and then the, a whole production has been lost by the organization and all the expenses are being faced by the organization and then there should be a temporary staff to be replaced in uh, in place of injured person and the temporary staff has to be provided with training and a lot of other extra uh, costs so there are a lot of direct and indirect costs for the organization related to these accident at the workplace so apart from all this the organization also understood that it is uh, apart from complying with the legal requirement it also benefits the organization if they manage occupational health and safety and put all the foreseen hazards with control measures and make the risk at low level protecting the employees and protecting the uh, visitors or anybody at the workplace thank you